Fresno State is defending a conference championship for the first time in 13 years. It gave us a you know, kind of shot of life, you know, to where now we, we know what to do to win a championship. And the, the majority of guys that are doing the right thing now is way more than what it was two years ago and a year ago. So it, it's getting better. And if we can keep that up, I, Fresno could be a special place for a long time. Senior quarterback Derek Carr, who is the defending Mountain West Offensive Player of the Year, says the offseason for the Bulldogs was intense. This is the hardest I've ever worked in my life. Uh, you know, guys had to get on board or else, you know, go ahead and quit the run, walk up the ramp and go home. Uh, so, you know, you had two choices. So, so luckily we got a lot of guys to finish. <laughs> Carr has plenty of choices when it comes to throwing the football, including wide receiver Devontae Adams, who caught 14 touchdown passes a year ago en route to being named Mountain West Freshman of the Year. Calvin Johnson is Megatron, so I, I call him Optimus Prime. Uh, you know, he, he is... Uh, I can't say enough good things about it because, you know, with all the awards he won and all the things yep. that he did, he, he still is one of the hardest workers I've been around. And that's saying a lot because I, I don't throw that term around loosely. Yep. Um, so he, 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 he's phenomenal. I mean, he'll he's the kind of guy, he texts me when he wakes up at 2.30 in the morning and he, he'll tell me I'm, I'm already open. There is an open competition at running back which will help fill some pretty big shoes. When you're replacing the all-time leading career rusher, uh, it's, it, it's not one guy's job to do. Uh, we, we're going to look very different at running back. Uh, Josh Cazada, uh, a transfer from BYU, uh, had to you know, sit out of, uh, last year and redshirted. Uh, did a great job on our scout team, and, and I'm anxious to see him go against some live competition this fall. Uh, he's going to be a junior. We've got a sophomore and Martez Waller, who was Robbie's backup a year ago. Both these guys are 210 to 220 pound back, so very different look as opposed to a 5'5 five, five and a half, 100, 180 pound guy. They can all pick up a blitz, <laughs> which I, I tell them is the most important. You know, you, you guys can all run. You've been running since you were little. You know, just pick up the blitz and we'll be good. Eight starters return on defense, which ranked second in the conference a year ago. Safety Deron Smith, who made six interceptions last year, will be counted on to do the same this year as the Bulldogs are without unanimous All-American safety Philip Thomas, who is now in the NFL. Step up more as a leader and uh, get, get my young guys ready. You know, um, especially at the strong safety spot, the, the two guys, Charles Washington and Rodney Matthews, that are, that are stepping in to that strong safety spot. And I, I have all the confidence in the world in both those guys. Um, they showed me a lot in the spring and in the work ethic that they've had in the summer workouts. Um, you know, Philip Thomas is a hard guy to replace. He, he did some amazing things, and uh, I wish him nothing but the best in the NFL. But um, I feel that we have guys in place that can step up, and uh, that's, that's my job in getting them ready, getting them ready for the in-game experience because it's, it's a big difference from practice to, to playing in front of 40, 45,000 um, against, against a team that we haven't seen before. The Dogs open up the season at home against the defending Big East champs, Rutgers. For the Mountain West Network, I'm Jesse Kurtz. Look at